What's good y'all, Akil here, back with another video, and today we are going to go to Ross to see if I can find anything to sell on eBay, but before I get into that, I just ordered something from Poshmark and I picked it up today, and the packaging for this item is amazing, literally the best packaging I ever received. I'll show you guys the item, I'll tell you guys how much I paid for it, how much I might get for it later down the road, let me just show you guys all this stuff really quickly. So first off, I picked up a pair of these Jordan 6s in this denim colorway really dope really clean the person probably wore this maybe once or twice these shoes didn't have a lot of hype at all so that's probably why this person wanted to sell these and let them go i love denim shoes then the thing with denim shoes for me is that they just it just looks so good in the, in the fall and winter time so really good condition at, at first i thought there were a stain on these shoes but there, it's not really a stain i think it's more it's just the denim you know what i mean the denim just has different colors and different like little fades and stuff like that so no stains whatsoever i don't have the original box so that's going to damage the overall value on these shoes i paid 50 bucks for these but i had some poshmark credit so overall i think i ended up spending like 20 something bucks on these so when when i'm done with these i'll probably sell them for maybe a hundred bucks maybe a little less depending on you know how long i keep them but like i said these shoes didn't have any hype so we'll see uh how they do in a few months when the resale probably switches up on those let me know if you guys think the value is going to go up or down on those shoes just let me know your thoughts as we'll see this is a fedex box it even has uh it says fedex padded pack so when i got this out of the post office i, w I didn't even know what to expect and it even had like the official like um, FedEx label on top of it. So this person probably dropped off this item at FedEx. Who knows how they even was able to, you know, get all this nice packaging. But it is what it is. This person wrapped it up in all of this bubble wrap. Like I said, it didn't have the original box. So they used all of this bubble wrap in the shoe. And it had all of this, uh, all of this packing popcorn or whatever you want to call it. It was like six or seven bags of these. So you guys already know I'm going to be reusing all of these stuff. But at the same time, like I said, the, some of the best packaging I've ever received on Poshmark. I do a lot of uh, sourcing on Poshmark, and a lot of times the, the packaging is trash. Literally, I've received some items where the person wrapped up the shoes in garbage bags, and you know it's just it was just a very very unprofessional setting. But this was by far the best um, package I've ever received on Poshmark in terms of presentation. No love note, no stickers, no butterflies, no unicorns just really well packaged so I, of course i left this person a love note gave them some good feedback and i'm just overall very happy so drop a comment let me know if you guys would ever ship out a poshmark package like this so like i said without further ado let's just jump into ross and see if you can find anything to flip on ebay today all right y'all so we are in the men's shoe section here at ross and this is usually where i start when i'm coming here to source and as you guys can see the shelves aren't completely empty but it's not full of shoes that people actually want they haven't had a good restock here in a while they're just the same uh cheap cleats that nobody really wants um i even seen a pair of metcons in here uh, metcons are crossfit shoes workout shoes weightlifting but they were in a size four and a half so very tough size maybe if it was in a maybe if it was 10 bucks i probably would have picked it up but as you guys can see they were asking 40 bucks so i passed on that this is a pair of Under Armour Banshees, and I actually just sold a pair of these not too long ago, but they were asking like 15 bucks for these, and when I picked them up, they were only $2.99, so of course we passed on those. So enough of being in the men's section since I was wasting my time. I went to the women's shoe section, and the women's side had a lot more to offer. First thing I came across was a pair of Air Max, uh, Air Max Pluses, right? But then I saw two pairs of these, size seven and a half. I believe the other one was a size eight. So we're already starting off pretty good. Um, at first, my energy was kind of low. I was saying to myself, I'm probably not going to find anything good today. But two pairs of shoes right off the rip, very happy. Now, walked around to the other side, found another pair. Um, this was a size eight. So, so far, so good. We got three really good shoes. Um three different sizes so i'm definitely happy about that they were asking 55 bucks for these i i know air max plus is usually always sell for 100 plus so i'm good with that now this was a pair of air max 90s they're asking 55 bucks on these in this like uh purple and white colorway i believe these just came out not too long ago um in a pack so these are definitely going to be coming with me as well 
And as soon as I dropped that in my cart, came across two more pairs of Air Max 97s. Now, to be honest with you guys, I don't usually have too many days like this in Ross where I'm just like grabbing up a bunch of shoes at one particular time. But it is what it is. I'm not going to take this opportunity for granted. I'm just going to grab all of these shoes up. I'll check the comps a little later on. But all of these shoes are going straight in the cart right now because days like this don't happen for me all the time, like I said. So went back to where I saw those Air Max Pluses because I knew it was a pair of Tailwinds that I've seen, but I, I never really pick up Tailwinds. So I had to go back and just check these out a little more, see if they were worth anything. And of course, after checking the comps, I seen they had some decent value on these. So I'm definitely going to be scooping these up as well because I usually see Tailwinds, but not in this pink colorway. These are actually really dope. My wife might like those, so I might have to keep those away from her. Um, this was a pair of Steve Madden's. I seen the the blue. Uh, anytime I see blue dress shoes or any any type of fancy looking dress shoe, I always got to double back and check it out. But these were just in the wrong section, so I had to put those back. And Steve Madden shoes, they don't really resell for much. Next was this pair of. Um, I believe these are called the Vapor Tours. I've just sold these not too long ago for 90 bucks, but these had some scuffs and some scratches on here. So this one I'm not going to be taking with me only because there's too many flaws on this particular shoe. Now, this was a pair of Vans. I've been selling Vans lately, um, brand new without box for some decent profit. So this one, it did have some little scuffs and some stains. It looked like somebody tried these on in the store. So I'm going to clean these up and I might pick these up. I might not, but I'm not exactly sure, but I'm going to throw it in the cart just in case. Now, right when I was about to head out, there was another pair of these Air Max 97s. So overall, just a really solid day because, you know, it made me just be very super appreciative because I usually never find this much stuff to fill up in my cart. So like I said, I'm, ha I'm just making sure that I'm not leaving anything behind because they clearly just restocked the women's section and another pair of Tailwinds, another colorway that I've never seen. So really dope, really nice colorway. Uh, 55 bucks once again so i'm definitely going to be throwing these in the cart because some tailwinds do have some value and i think those might actually be the ones that have some value to them now we in the women's section still and these are clearly listed for kids but usually people just put shoes back in the wrong section so I'm not tripping too much about these. I don't usually pick up cleats because I'm not really uh, knowledgeable on cleats, to be honest with you guys. But I'm going to have to run the comps on these, see if they're worth anything, and then um, we'll see if I'll pick them up. But then I went to the kids section, and then I seen those same cleats for $6.99. So anytime uh, there's one shoe that has a lower price tag, usually if I take them to the register, they usually honor the prices. So as you guys can see, there was three pairs of these in total grabbed up all three of those threw them in the cart and like i said very very successful trip to ross today because man i was just super happy about this all right y'all so we are back in the crib so let me just show you guys what i picked up really quickly and how much i think all these stuff will sell for first up we got this pair of air max 97 three different pairs of these um these should definitely sell for about 110 maybe 120 that's what i was seeing that these were going for and that's in terms of the active listings as well that's how much other people are pricing theirs for these were 54.99 so we should definitely make some decent profit on those this is a pair of phantom venom cleats um but these cleats i took a chance on these only because they were 6.99 um the other ones were marked 19.99 but of course anytime you take it to the register and you ask them if they can match the price they usually always do it usually just means uh some of the workers just didn't change the price on some of those so i got lucky with those i'll probably list those for about 60 bucks see how long it takes to sell it might sit for a while but it is what it is six bucks 6.99 can't go wrong with that that's like thrift store prices next up we got three pairs of these air max pluses in this really dope colorway for women really really dope there was a few of these listed so i'm pretty sure a lot of people have been finding these so between these and these this is probably going to be something i might have to you know just wait a little longer on um just just be patient until everybody else sells out on theirs because anytime i find things in ross it's usually just a waiting game sometimes i try to keep my inventory balanced with some items that'll sell super fast along with some items that might take a little longer to sell but it will still garner some good profit so those shoes there's a lot of those listed right now but like i said i'll just be patient wait until the right buyer comes along probably sell those for about 120 air max plus is always sell for some good money next up we got some air max tailwinds and these tailwinds i usually don't even like pick up tailwinds especially that khaki colorway that we see all the time in burlington i've never picked those up but this pair in particular i got two different sizes in these these were selling for about 100 110 so this was definitely a better uh 
pair of tailwinds to pick up as well as these tailwinds as well i didn't see too many active listings in these so this should definitely be selling for around that same price point 100 maybe 110 definitely happy about these then we got some air max 90s only one of these but this is super dope these will definitely sell these will probably sell fast and these were like once again 49.99 no these were 54.99 so these will also sell for some decent profit very very glad i was able to pick these up and last but not least we got a pair of vans um i seen these sitting around for a while i was kind of dragging my feet trying to consider if i should pick these up but these were only 22 bucks and lately i've been selling vans for about 60 bucks brand new without box so that's probably what i'll do with these not 60 69.99 so i'll list these for the same amount see how long those take to sell they might sell overnight or they might take a little while so of course i'll keep you guys updated in a future what so video but overall very solid amount of picks i usually don't even get this much stuff in the women's section but today we're just one of those days so drop a comment let me know what you guys think of today's finds let me know if you would have picked up some of these tailwinds let me know if you even picked up some of these shoes yourself and you've sold any or you're just waiting for the right buyer to come along always like hearing from you guys so all right y'all that's all i got for today's video so if you guys enjoyed that one don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next one peace